welcome back. I, I bet there'll be kids all over the country sort of like trying that with glasses at the weekend and smashing Dad's special whiskey one. Uh, shall we get my next guest out, ladies and gentlemen? I think we should. She's a film goddess. She's a Broadway superstar. It is the wonderful, the beautiful, the talented Brooke Shields. <laughs> Having a nice time. I was having a lovely you enjoyed, time. Uh, you enjoyed. You Obviously, you, have you met Emma before? I don't know if you just met. briefly. I briefly? can't say. Okay. You know, I know her, but now, now we're all very intimate after being on that couch I'm together. And have you met Florence before? No, this is uh, a first. And the machine? Did you meet her machine back then? <laughs> you could feel it. And Paddy, you got on well with Paddy. Got along very well with Paddy. Did you understand much of what he was saying? Because he has, yeah. <laughs> Whereabouts in the north exactly are you from, Paddy? Bolton. Bol Bolton. 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 No, yeah. no. Bolton. No, no. Bolton. 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 I'm from New York. Uh, hey, but you know, uh, one of the things I admire about you is you're one of those rare things. You're someone who, who, who was a child star, been in the business for a while, and didn't go off the rails ever. But you won't believe how long uh, books were, because if we were to say your first professional engagement, we could say that you have been working in show business for 45 years. You could, yes, you could safely and you'd be correct. Because you were, how was it, 11 months? I when was you? 11 months when I, and I had a lot to say about it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, was a, I was a baby model. You were the face of various products, weren't you? And they, they became, what were you the face of? You were the face I of? Said the, I was like the face of the 80s, which I don't understand how, that's like an face arbitrary thing. It's 80s. like, here's the face of the 80s. Yeah. Like, it's you know, uh, weird. You might like this uh, because Paddy's done, I know you won't believe this, but Paddy's done a bit of modeling. And Paddy, you were the face of? Greg's. Greg's. <laughs> Greg's. They make pasties. Do you know what a pasty is? Have you had a pasty? Like the. Sausage rolls, Brooke. Oh, sausage rolls. I thought you meant like a, like a mint, like a pasty. No, not like, like a pastille. Not, no. That's how classy Brooke I'm is. I'm sorry. Can you imagine him I being... I was a French major at university. Can him being the face of a, a, an upmarket <laughs> French mint? A little round mint. Hey, I tell you what, get that down the chuck, hey? <laughs> right yeah, flesh, yeah. rap and all, Bolton. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you've got two girls. I do. Uh, how are they... Oh, they're five and eight. Five and eight. Okay, so they five know Mum eight. was a model. Mum was in show business. Mum made movies. Do they? Do they want some of that action? Do they say, Mum, can we do some of this? They don't have the patience for it. I think you know so much of why I even wanted to do it was to be liked. You know, it's that sort of getting the approval. But they're growing up so differently. Um, they both got a chance to be in my, my husband's a film writer. And he asked if they could be in a cameo one day. And I said, great. So we got them all. They got a little wardrobe and their little trailer. The older one goes through hair and makeup, the wardrobe, everything. Happy to go do the scene. The little one, who rarely smiles, as you can see in that picture, <laughs> does all the hair and makeup, gets everything all dressed up, and then says, no, I cannot. So wouldn't, wouldn't do it. So I get we get home, I get her home. I mean, I was I was at home, and I said, honey, I said, why didn't you want to do it? She said, I did not want to. And I said, did you just want to do the hair and makeup? And she said, yes. <laughs> she said, She's no dummy. She went through all the hair and makeup pretending she was going to do it, and then I thought, either I you'll be fabulous that. in Hollywood or you won't make it at all. You, know, you mentioned you're, you're married and you have the children, of course, but you are famously linked with a number of men over the years. Because kind of, you know, lucky men, has to be said. Uh, but, you know, high profile. Uh, I won't go for all the names. It's too many. I don't think we have time. Wait but, uh, certainly, uh, <laughs> but a few stick out. And one in particular, you know, I said, well, you know, you, went, uh, you, you were very close with Michael Jackson. Yes. How closely did you know him? I mean, you were really pretty close for years, weren't you? Uh, in the, yes. I mean, I'd have to say that in the later years, after I, I think when I married and had children, I became less in his life. But we met when we were, I mean, I was 13, and I never wanted anything from him, you know? I didn't, I had my own life and my own work. I didn't, I didn't need something from him, do you know, to get something from him. And is that him. what everyone else, he was encountering was, that a lot elsewhere? It just was rampant, you know? And I think that that was a sense, he had a sense of, you know, he was, I think, secure around me and didn't feel threatened and didn't feel, I had no, nothing to judge him about. I had nothing. We laughed. You know, we were like little kids in this really adult world, and we got to sort of hang on to each other and be little kids. And I think that that, that was a gift, and we both knew it and cherished it. Uh, so when was the last time you spoke to him before his death? 
um, when my when the babies my babies being born and he called me or he sent me flowers and awesome. you know just to just to because it was what I always talked about you know that was sort of the one thing that I always knew I wanted to do was have children like yeah, that yeah. was the one thing no matter what this crazy career did or where I was wanted or not wanted or accepted or rejected whatever it was yeah. I knew that I wanted that part and he proposed life. you didn't he um, no, see, he gave me a beautiful ring, and I said, what does this mean? Do you want to ask me a question? And he said, no, I just want you to know, you know, that look at it, and, and I mean, he would say things like that, look how beautiful it is, and just know that I love you, and that I'm, but it, it was never, it never crossed over into that. I mean, and it was safer for him to say, I, he, I was his girlfriend, or I was something, because it kept, you yeah, know, kept he was fine with me. Him. Like, I was going to protect him. But let me ask you about George Michael, because you dated George Michael, and I'm thinking, okay, you've got to have the worst gaydar in the world. Because <laughs> well, how old were you when you dated well, George? Keep in mind that, I, so I had gone, gone on, which was the Johnny Carson show, so that's how long ago this was. Wow. So, I mean, that, that's just... You're talking just, about 20-odd years ago, at least. Yes. And they said, you know, who would you like to, to, to be stranded on an island? Of course, the typical question. So I, I say, oh, George Michael, George Michael. Well, I was a, it was known, sadly, because I wrote a book, it was known that I was a virgin. Okay. So, of course, I mean, it became who, who, who would Who's going to be the lucky Who's going to be the guy? They should have given out a golden ticket, like, like for Willy Wonka. Like with the, <laughs> you could have got it in a DVD, and it's like, I got it! <laughs> Sweet though, so we were doing, we were both doing a tour. Um, he was he was on a record tour, and I was on a, a book tour, some kind of tour, and we happened to be in the same so hotel. You met. And so, you know, he had a publicist, and I had a publicist, and they said, well, look, why don't you have dinner together? And he got the hotel room on the roof, and and he picked out the food that I like, and he nice. complimented me on my blouse, and we guy. talked about fashion. So you figured you were, this thought, was going to be the night. I, well, and I also thought, what a gentleman. Also, if you're going to give it up to anyone, give it up to Wham. Right. <laughs> Am I right? Am I right, ladies? And I even thought he was a real gentleman when he didn't he want to kiss me goodnight. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, we went out to a party for um, Grace Jones, um, and, and he goes, well, I want, he, he turns over to me and he says, I, we, I'm, I want to leave a little bit early and take you, you know. I'm thinking, this is it. So we get near my home where I was still living with my mother, he knows. And as we get close to the house, it was in New Jersey, he says to the driver, to drive around a bit. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, this is it. It's going to happen. He was going to It's going to be in the back of a, the limo, oh and it's going to be with Wham. And the partition went up. And oh, I was the partition whole thing. went up. And then he says, he says to me, he goes, um... Uh, I think we need to take a break. I need to concentrate on my career. And I was like, oh, oh. No. I was so heartbroken. I went back to college I, and I like literally, I heard the song Never Gonna Dance Again. And I thought it was about me. Oh. I was just, I was sure that, you know, he chose his career over me and it was heartbreaking for him. But what he actually. <laughs> you know, have you, have you, have you cleared the hair around this? <laughs> no, have you no, spoken but I'm with very, George? I'm, you know, I have George's God. number. Do you want to call George now and talk to him about it? Well, I see. Is he feeling better? He is better well, now. He's better now. He's, he, God he is, bless. God bless. Well. But he is still gay, so it hasn't but, changed. Yeah, so, so I still don't have a chance. It's okay. It's okay. One final thing. Is this true? You're training, you're, <laughs> you're training uh, to play basketball at the moment? I did. I, I, I finished the Adams Family where I had to learn how to tango, and now I'm going to have to learn how to... Play basketball. And how's that going so far? You... I, I start when I when I leave. This is my swan song. I so go you haven't started gonna... yet? No, I haven't started yet. But Come I... back over, shoot a few hoops okay, with us. Okay, I will. That's not a euphemism. No. You can play in the <laughs> This whole show is a euphemism. <laughs> 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 it's not stopping. <laughs> well, lovely to have you on. Ladies and gentlemen, the, the lovely Bookshelves. Thank you so much. That was lovely. Brooke Shields, and gentlemen, uh, join us after the break when I'll be joined by the amazing Emma Thompson and we have music from Florence and the Machine. Don't go away. <laughs> Thank you.